welcome back to my youtube channel in today's is it exciting video in today's very unprepared video <laughs> i'm gonna be talking about how my autoimmune disease has upgraded itself like rude i knew this time would come i just didn't realize how soon i would be making this video basically more often than not when you have an autoimmune disease you don't just have one you have another one and more often than not it's gonna be something to do with like your bowels because it, that's kind of i don't i'm not a scientist i'm not a doctor i got diagnosed with ankylosing spondylitis back in october 2020 on my birthday <laughs> And since then I have been on medication for about, I wanna say like just over a year now, which is in the form of a injection that I do myself weekly. I haven't had any issues since I've been on my medication, which is amazing. And I feel like when I've just got the ball rolling with the medication, learning to inject myself, trying to get used to that routine of injecting myself each week, then Bam. I have another issue. Basically, I have a colonoscopy tomorrow and I have to stop eating today at three o'clock. I have to take a whole pint of laxatives today at seven and then again tomorrow morning at six. Oh, hello, baby. What are you doing? You want to come say hi? You want to come say hi? Oh. <laughs> hey. He just wants to go sleep. Don't knock the camera, don't knock the camera, he's gonna... I think it's colitis. So for the sake of describing it, I'm just gonna call it colitis. So I think I've had these bowel issues, maybe possibly colitis, for a long time. I just didn't realize. And I think having COVID brought the symptoms out a bit more and more of like the serious symptoms, which then made me call my doctor. So basically when I had COVID, it made my bowel symptoms a lot worse. I saw a lot of blood on my tissue after I had been the toilet and i was just kind of like shit this is it this this is it this is the start of my bowel issues so i basically called my gp and while i had covid they actually wanted to see me she checked for hemorrhoids and i told her it wasn't that but you know they have to start somewhere so then she said that they would refer me to the hospital for a colonoscopy i didn't realize how much how much prep work would actually go into this so let's go downstairs and prep for my meal tonight <laughs> help me honestly welcome here is where you'll see me prepare dinner for tonight and we have a strict deadline to consume our dinner at 7 p.m. If I have to drink a litre of laxatives, I'm going to make the best out of this situation. So today I have chosen my favourite martini glass to drink out of. And of course, we have the main ingredients. We have one for 7 o'clock tonight, which is this. And then we have one 12 hours later ish at six o'clock the next morning so okay so i've just double checked and it is one liter fuck that's so much so meal prep we want to put your half liter and it goes all over the floor as well into your serving jug <laughs> another half a liter into your serving jug now we have our litre of water prepared. Alongside these two sachets going in here later on, I also, where's the instructions gone? Need to be drinking, I think it's like uh, 500 millilitres of water. It's important to drink additional five millilitres, 500, <laughs> It's important to drink an additional five millilitres of water or clear fluids after this dose before going to bed. Have I ever drunk this much water in my life? I'm going to do a meal prep for tonight. Yes, my little baby boy. My little baby boy. Hello. The meal prep does not include cat hair. I'm going to try and um, film what I can. I do have my procedure tomorrow morning. It's Wednesday. Uh, 
uh, I'm not doing my injection today, my medication for my AS, which is weekly. Um, I'm not doing that because if they take, is it called a biopsy? They might take like a piece of my bowel, I think. So obviously that's kind of a cut in my bowels. So any sort of cut, I am more prone to get an infection because my medication is immune suppressant. So I'm not gonna take my medication today. Anyways, I'll see you guys later when I have to drink this. Guys, it's half seven. I completely forgot about the time and I need to go and drink my laxatives. having our our dinner our cocktail there are like lumps in the bottom of it oh it smells lemony oh my god i think it's lemon flavored i don't know how i feel about that <sighs> cheers I, I don't know i'm just i'm just gonna drink it oh my god oh it doesn't actually taste that bad it tastes like strepsils. It tastes like lemon strepsils. Like just liquid form. Yeah. That's okay, that's drinkable. That makes this a lot easier. It is a little bit salty, but it's okay, it's okay. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to doing some more editing and drinking my cocktail. And I guess pooping. See you guys tomorrow for my next liter of laxatives. What is this video? Never did I think when I start my YouTube channel I will be on here drinking laxatives out of a martini glass. But here I am. She really struggled to finish that liter of laxatives. The taste after a while started to make me feel a bit like just not great. <laughs> I just start to get really bad cramps before I first went to the toilet. Like really bad cramps. I've got to do it all again now. <laughs> I might try and put the powder into a half a liter because like drinking a whole liter was really difficult i need to drink actual like water and stuff as well so i think that might make it a bit easier but i'm gonna go downstairs and make my final batch this is so gross <laughs> oh my god i've actually got the procedure today i have so many good snacks in like in my room at the moment as well like, I've got flapjacks and those, like, cornflake things from Marks and Spencer's. You know, the massive, like, tubs that they do. And I can't even have them. I'm tired. <laughs> anyway, I need to go and drink my laxatives again. <laughs> to go to the hospital and I'm getting nervous <sighs> yes so I'm getting dropped off procedures meant to be anytime from half one and then like the next four hours after that so we shall see <laughs> I 
would say an even nerdless wee, but I've got nothing in me. I've literally got nothing in me. <sighs> they keep commenting on how young I am. They ask me my age. They couldn't believe that I was here because I was so young. Young people get sick too. <laughs> I just got out. They kept me for a bit longer because my blood pressure was up so high. I literally downed a bottle of water and uh -huh. ate half my flapjacks in that tub. And she just made me a little black tea. And I'm currently just waiting for my mum to come pick me up. I'm so glad that's over. <laughs> pretty disappointed with my results from my operation they didn't find anything for me it's not great that they didn't find anything for some people watching this that might not be chronically ill i know that's a hard thing to grasp because nobody wants to be ill but i know there is something wrong with me besides my as so when they don't find that thing in the first go the first set of tests or whatever you know you're gonna have to go through the whole procedure again and it could drag out for years and in doing so your symptoms could also get worse and cause more damage in your body if you don't catch it early so i'm really disappointed that they didn't find anything because there is a hundred percent something not right with my bowels so i guess maybe there will be another video i will have to do <laughs> about drinking laxatives on the internet summary i'll have to go through this procedure again probably in the near future just anyway i know this was a weird one and like i said before i didn't think when I started my channel that I would be putting anything on the internet about laxatives and pooping and bowel issues but welcome to having an autoimmune disease <laughs> but anyway guys thank you so much for watching if you made it this far and as I always say in all my videos more so in these ones about my autoimmune disease make healthy choices and of course be kind to yourself and i'll see you guys in my next video thanks for watching